Okay, so bearing puller came, got the bearing off very easily though, so it wasn't under that hard, but <coughs> nice that that worked so good. So I used this in here, and this did not have a hole before, so it was punched in by this hardened piece of metal here in the middle. That's apparently hardened steel. Um, feels pretty massive, I thought it would feel more flimsy. Uh, but that's good. So I have a bearing puller now and I got it off and we can now take off the brake Has Has been wet at some time apparently <coughs> so Yeah, there's nothing here. There's just this and uh, The spring So I have no idea uh, how this thing retracts during running, or if it even does, but I cleaned it out a bit, so there was some de debris in there, and well, it's a bit nicer now. Uh, the bearing itself seems to be in working order, can't feel anything. Ah, there it is. There was something that sounded like small debris. Oh well, I don't know if it's audible, but <clears throat> there's probably some debris in there. Um, I'll see if I can get a cheap one and replace it at some point, but I'm, for now I'm going to reassemble it, <clears throat> because now I can get it back out. <laughs> well, most of the time. So, um, before I do that, I have to check if I can actually get that out with this, because I don't think so. It has way big claws to even fit through here and when I put it <coughs> here in the motor uh, that's a blind bearing like can I get that out I could hammer it out if I want to so yeah I think it's good enough <laughs> for what I do I can replace it at a later point if I need to so that's what I'm gonna do reassemble the motor Okay, so I rudimentary put a uh, holder for the motor here in place, which is just a plate and a, a very long screw because I didn't have a shorter one in that thread. So that's M8 and I only have one M8 thread, uh, rod, so yeah. I attached the run cap again and put the variac in series. The thing is though, um, this thing absolutely hates running on a lower voltage doesn't like it at all so <clears throat> i put the varic on 230 volts or something and i will just plug it in so we can see it run You can hear a slight bearing noise in the front, so just as I expected there is some kind of debris in the bearing, but it's okay, it doesn't make too much noise at the moment and I might replace it at some point uh, if I ever get around to actually using the motor and if it really gives us a problem. But yeah, as you see it works, the brake applies, um, apparently it is pulled in the windings warm uh, slightly yeah it's pulled in by the magnetic field <coughs> so let's take a look at it with the thermal camera because when I started it earlier with low voltage the the core got pretty hot so can you see that don't even know what I'm filming oh yeah that's the motor yeah you can kind of see that everything in there is now warm but it's just 26 to oh, 30 degrees uh, yeah but it works it has a constant load applied with the fan if I put that into a uh, well ducted motor housing it will pull the air through here 
I guess. So I'll just put something back here so it can't pull air through here so all the air will go through the motor um, which will hopefully uh, cool it enough um, yeah so the motor works bearing is slightly shot but eh, doesn't matter so the next thing would be this one to I have to figure out something how I I'm even going to talk to it. I can of course just try and plug it in and it will just run full speed the whole time. So I know the middle is protective earth, so the other two are phase and neutral. <coughs> That's how much I could get out of the um, the circuit in general. Uh, what I could not figure out is what this is. Uh, yeah it's still a mystery maybe there's two ground connections for no reason I don't know at least that's what it looked like on the circuit but you never know what the hell's going on with this so I'm gonna see if I can find a data sheet for these motors because they're probably not all that different um, but yeah maybe I find something on this and in the meantime uh, I'm just gonna wait for for uh, the other two motors to arrive one blow motor of a car that should be in working order and one small fan motor uh, that should also be in working order so we can take a look at those but for now we fixed uh, these things at least so that's something which means we can maybe also uh, start working on this uh, for the winter project basically because I can't really use a blower <laughs> um, for my pool heating in winter unless I constantly heat it but that would mean constantly having a fire going and I don't have that much firewood okay so that's it for this video